the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey there, you guys. Welcome to the Brevin Campbell 12 YouTube channel. Place for all your comic book and anime reviews. Today is my review for Champions issue number four. So, with this issue of Champion, uh, which is obviously written by Evil Ewing, um, we get to see Cyclops on the cover right here, which is really pretty awesome to see. You know, we haven't seen Cyclops in quite a bit of time. Um, he kind of came in the end of the last issue. So, Evil Ewing is now continuing his work of, you know, bringing in Cyclops, much like other previous writers have, which is pretty interesting to see. Um... Another writer bringing I feel like every single run champion is going to have some Cyclops in it in some form of way, which is pretty cool. I like the character. Um, but of course, the state of the X Men now is in a definitely different place than it was with the other series. So let's see how this one, you know, takes the whole uh, Kokoa, every, everything going on with Kokoa right now. So the issue pretty much begins off, and we get to see, you know, the champions kind of, the X Men kind of bamping in to help the champions save them from, you know, on um, the government threat that they've been dealing with. And uh, Sayo kind of pretty much came in the last session and said, "Hey, these guys under Kakoa and protection. I'm gonna take you guys in. So make everyone believe that hey, uh, Kakoa is gonna be protecting the champions now, which was not expected. Uh, but makes sense since Cyclops was their friend." We get some really cool interaction between the champions and the, all the X-Men right here, which I thought was pretty interesting to see. And we give a lot of, you know, you know, you're doing a lot of government arguments um, between different characters with them, with them debating each other and things like that that's been going on in each of the issues. Um, in the previous issues, I didn't, I mean, I liked it a lot. Um... I didn't love it, but it was something that you kind of you know, added in. It makes sense for this storyline, this Civil War as storyline, with you know champions protecting each other. And they're talking about like you know who, who, who people are agreeing with, come on, all who aren't, what are the age groups, and things like that. They agree or disagree, and we get to see the champions. This is where I really start a little bit. We get to see champions meet the Marauders, which I thought was really cool to see. Um, as you guys know, that's probably my favorite of the X-Men books right now is the Marauders books. Uh, I really love Kitty Pride a lot, even though she's now going by Kate Pride. And I just dug how this storyline really dealt with that. And it was a really fun thing to do. And we get to see this one moment between Sam and Kamala that was really emotional. Um, very much bringing back the time when, you know, Sam helped Ka, uh, Kamal helped Sam before, and now Sam is coming to Kamal as she's fallen into the deep depression of, of being on social media, seeing this negative attention that they're getting at the champions, and seeing how you all disagree with them, and just falling into that pitfall of, you know, like, which everyone goes, when everyone says, don't read the comment section, well, she read the comment section, you guys, and she's not very happy with it. Um... And, you know, Sam is kind of helping her with that. We get to see some really cool fights between the Marauders and the Champions going on. That I thought was really cool. And it ends with Kamala making a big decision for herself that she is going to go and face the Creole organization on her own. Um, despite everything, she is, she is ready to do it. She's going in um, to face the enemy that she doesn't really know how to deal with. But we're going to see how she ends up being able to deal with all this in this issue. Um, we didn't cut to the very end of the issue where we get to see a, this great scene between Viv and this woman who Viv had found the last issue. And it's this really nice moment between the two of them in which we get kind of a black history moment in Champion, which I thought was really surprising you know this is black history month and champions decide to kind of use black history month as a part of their story um which i thought was really cool in the way they did to say sometimes the law isn't always right sometimes we don't think that happened the law we don't always agree with and 
So then we gotta fight for what's right no matter what anyone else says. And I thought that was a really good lesson to learn in this issue. In this issue. So we get to see all the champions at the very end going up to go fight against Kratos. And this really cool splash page moment which I thought was really awesome. And that's where the issue, you know, ends itself off. So that was champions. Issue number four, you guys. Um, really good issue of champions. Uh, really great characterization going on within this issue. And one that you die, I really, really, really enjoyed a whole lot. So there are my thoughts on championship number four, you guys. Leave the comments about championship number four. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.